Good evening, my friend. Beautiful night for baseball. Oh, it's perfect. You're going to take this matchup between these two. Typically in March, we usually see temps just barely getting into the 40s, and uh, we are sitting comfortably at about 70 degrees. Not a lot of wind to speak of tonight, and the lead, the Powder Blues. The debut of the Powder Blues for Creighton. Hasfident as we go on throughout the season, the 2-2. Swung on and miss. Nissen strikes out Getzman to get us started tonight at the Chubb. 58 on the year, the 3-2. Way inside, and Nolan Sailors takes a one-out walk. Now Sailors goes. The pitch is upstairs, and Sailors is easily into second base. The throw is away from the bag. Again, runners will go. That one's upstairs, and Sherman draws in a run with a walk. It's 1-0 Jays here in the first. Now the 2-2. Right lifting is shortstop Ben North. Climbing the ladder and stealing away out number one. Thought it was going to be closer to in his kitchen, and he, man, he lifted up for that thing. That thing was scorched pretty good. Now Gillen steps in, second at bat of the night after striking out on three pitches in the first. Takes low ball one and singles right up the middle for a two-out base hit. He's going to push it around first. Big turn and back into first safely to run for the Jays. 0-1. This one's in and out to left field, sinking and down, and nearly by the left fielder, Lechner, on to third base with a head first slide is Gillen, and on to second base is Nolan Sailors with a two-out double. A little bloop double out here if they can get it. 2-2 again. Swing and a miss. And that will end the third inning. Elevates the fastball up in the zone. Rattled them just a bit here. Here's the 3-1 pitch. That one's hit well in the right field for a base hit. Will McLean gets his first hit of the evening. Box. There needs to be. It's like, I feel like it's a charge in basketball. 2-1 pitch. That one is hit well into left field, and that will get into the gap. Kyle Hess goes to left center, rounding first on his way to second. He might give it a go for three, and he will, as Connor Gandasi will wave him over to third. He slides in there safely for a one-out triple. Kyle Hess with his first triple of the season, and the Jays are in ball. One-two pitch. That's hit well into center field, and it'll get down for a single, an RBI single off the bat of Tate Gillen. And the Jays take the lead 2-1. to one. And for Tate, he drives in Arby Big East Player of the Week. And he did so for what he was able to accomplish at the plate. There showing the glove work there in foul territory as opposed to the long pregame routine as a starter. See if that could help. 2-2. Two -two. Right in there. Strike three. Cardell Dick down looking to end the fifth inning. Six up. Season. One ball, two strikes, one away. Here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Went with the changeup there. The left-handed hitter facing the lefty curtain. One ball, two strikes, two away. Here in the six, tied two. Here's the pitch. Ground ball over to first. McLean gloves it. He will race over to first. Now flips to curtain in time for the out. Neither team committing an error to this point. 2-2 pitch. That one is hit well into right field and mistiming his jump was Grant Summers and that's a two-out single into right field. Deep breaths out there. 1-0 pitch. Hit him. Creighton takes the lead as that one plunks him in the hip. And Will McLean will get the RBI. Get his first crack in this one, leading things off. 7-8-9 for the Jays here in the bottom of the seventh, chasing a run. There's a rip into left field, right at the left fielder. They'll drop in front of him. Lechner had a beat on it for a moment, but that ball hit well off the bat of Canales. And the Jays, Creighton with seven hits now to Omaha's four. But the Mavericks have the edge where it counts on the scoreboard, 4-3. to three. Runner takes off. There's a ball hit through the left side. And now going from first to third is Zakowski. And he's in there easily. Great situation. Creeping his way a little bit closer, even with the bag almost at second. This hit one him. hit him. Did it go off the bat? Nope, it got his arm. And now the bases are loaded for the top of the, really for the first time tonight.
Bases loaded, 1-1 pitch, ground ball, that will score one run. The only play will be at first for Zepe, and it's ball is dropped at first, so everybody is safe. And just putting the strike out. 0-2 again. This one is lifted into center field. This will score a run. Making the catch is the center fielder, Hayden Hunt, as he falls to the ground making that catch, but it does score. Haligzo from third easily. Dieter's at 294 on the season. 12 RBI, chance to add to that here. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hits it through the right side, and that's going to score one. Coming around third and being waved home will be stopped right at the last moment was Gillum, but Hess does score. And Creighton adds another run. They lead it six. Now three across here in the bottom of the seventh. They lead it six to four. Runners at the corners with just one out. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. The throw down to second. Not in time. And now here comes Gillen. And he is under the tag. Safe. And Creighton now leads it seven to four. Hackman comes set. There's a ball ripped into right field. And that's going to score Teddy Dieters rounding third. An RBI single off the bat of Will McLean. His one, two, swung on and miss, and Primo gets the strikeout of Summers. Man, I guess. Well, that's true. The 0-2 grounded slowly out towards second base. McLean's going to come off first, make the throw back to first to the covering. Parker Primo, wild runner goes to second base where he's nabbed. Backing up was the catcher, Hogan Haligso. Get a spot. One ball, two strikes. Swung on and missed. And Parker Primo shuts the door. And the Jays have a victory in the midweek yet again. They eke out a win against the Omaha Mavericks. 8-7 tonight at Charles Schwab Field. And Parker Primo shuts the door. And the Jays have a victory in the midweek yet again. They eke out a win against the Omaha Mavericks 8-7 tonight at Charles Schwab Field in Omaha.